Hey guys, let's talk about makeup criticism. People criticizing your makeup. Hello, my name is Alex, if you're new. Uh, welcome back if you're not. Um, so I've received this comment from people a few times. They have basically said, asked me like, how do you respond when people criticize your makeup? Which is a really great question because I think that happens a lot nowadays, especially with social media, because I would say more likely than not, people are going to be a lot more brazen about critiquing the way someone looks when they are, you know, sitting in front of their phone and they have like just a letter as their avatar. I have to sneeze. Wow, that really snuck up on me. It's so much easier to criticize someone when you're anonymous. And that's like all of social media. So if you have a public profile at all, maybe you're a smaller creator and you're trying to like grow your page. Um, I do kind of feel like I got the most like shitty comments when I was like a small creator. And maybe it's just that like you are interacting with people less so, like you're getting fewer comments. Um, so overall you're seeing the shitty ones more often. I don't know, I don't know how that works necessarily. I think one of the reasons that I received this comment a lot or this question is because uh, there are a lot of like people who are new to makeup who watch my channel and they're trying to learn. I think one of the things that can be really discouraging from discouraging people from wearing makeup is, you know, maybe you're someone who never wears it, but you're interested and you want to start getting into it. Well, not only are you used to seeing yourself a certain way without it, but the people around you are used to seeing you a certain way without it. And when you start wearing it, you might not necessarily want people to be commenting, even if it's a positive comment, because it's kind of like drawing attention to this thing that you are new at and maybe not necessarily super confident in. And I think that those comments can often like just discourage people from like pursuing things that they like. That being said, the way that you respond is going to vary depending on where your, this critique is coming from. Is this criticism coming from online? If it is, then in my opinion, the best thing to do is to just not respond at all. Any kind of criticism that isn't warranted or constructive, I think constructive criticism can be great, but if you're just a person who has like a makeup page and you're creating something and you're, you're playing around and you put it out there and someone is like telling you it looks like shit, fuck them. <laughs> No one asked you, like, I don't know you. Like, why are you, what? Um, I feel like there are a lot of different opinions on this, but like, in my opinion, that kind of a comment is just like uh, completely unwarranted and unnecessary. And if that person wants to like create whatever they want and put it on the internet, they can, but that doesn't give anyone the right to talk shit to them just because like they're anonymous and they don't like what you're doing, you know? There are nuances when it comes to this stuff and there might be a person who is also a makeup enthusiast who views it and notices that you might be doing something. Um, and rather than saying like, this looks like shit, saying, oh my God, I love whatever. you like, ex ex like sharing their experience. Like, um, oh, my eyeliner, like if you are worried about skipping or if you ex experience skipping with your eyeliner, like say there's a little bit of skipping in the photo, try mixing Duraline in with it. It's such a great product, I love it. Like, you know what I mean? Like there are just ways that you can be a little bit more delicate about this kind of thing. Now I'm speaking to the critic. Um, but if it's online, ignore it. You don't know these people, just ignore it, literally. Like those people, the people who comment shit like that, they want to be seen so badly. They want to be seen so badly. So the second that you respond, no matter what you say, you just, they've won, they've won. So you just ignore that shit. If it's your family, well, we all know that families are gonna have their opinions. You change your hair, they're gonna have their opinions. You change your like, the way you style your outfits, they're gonna have their opinions. Um, the way that you navigate that, there's no way to stop them from doing that, you know? Like if you have a critical mother or, or if you have a critical parent, they're gonna probably be critical no matter what, you know what I mean? You just kind of have to like keep doing it and feel comfortable doing it. And you can approach them and say like, listen, this is something that I like am experimenting with and it's just like a little self-expression. And like, I would appreciate it if you didn't complain about it because it makes me feel like shit because it's something that I enjoy and I'm putting on my face and I'm wearing 
And I'm taking it very personally when you say those things, whatever the exa example might be. This is very broad, obviously. And that applies to everything in um, like any kind of a critique, you know? especially on like a person. I think makeup can feel really personal because like you're literally like, it's my fucking face, it's my face, it's all up in here. You know what I mean? I put it on here. <laughs> so if it doesn't look good or you tell me it doesn't look good, it's like, you look like shit, you know? If it's your friends or if it's someone else close to you, maybe it's like, um, I don't know, your like boyfriend or girlfriend or whomever close to you, a sibling. I think it's a little bit easier to talk to people who are like closer, because like parents are always gonna like think that they know best for you and they're gonna like like you a certain way, you know? They see you a certain way. Your friends or like people, I don't know, closer to you in age maybe. I think it's a little bit easier to get on their level and you know, just say essentially that like it's something that you're enjoying and that you're trying out right now. Makeup is literally, you wash it off. Like it is not permanent unless you get permanent makeup. Um, but it's not permanent. Like all of this, this is not how my face is going to look for the rest of my life. I kind of wish it was, cause it's a dope makeup look, dude. Uh, but it's not. I'm gonna take these lashes off, girl. I'm gonna wipe off this lip, okay? I'm not gonna have orange all over my eyes for the rest of my life. It's completely fine. Something that you need to keep in mind, especially if these like critiques are sort of preventing you from continuing is that everyone starts at a certain place you're not gonna be amazing at makeup if you are starting for the first time. Like you are not going to blend your eyeshadow perfectly if you've just picked up your first eyeshadow palette and brush, you know what I mean? If it's something that makes you really insecure and you feel like I wanna work on this, but I don't want people to see it necessarily. I have said this a million times. When I first started experimenting with makeup, I would just like sit down in the evening when I was like home and doing nothing and just play and literally just like paint on my face. And it was perfect because like, it was the evening. It was like after school or after work. It was definitely after work. Um, and I would just like wash it off. Nobody had to see it. And if I fucked it up, it doesn't matter, but you're experimenting, you're playing. So if you have those opportunities, then just do that. You know, uh, anytime that you have like a, if you love it and you want to experiment it, experiment with it, then anytime that you have just like a moment to kind of like sit down and play around, like put on a movie, you know, if you're having like a lazy Sunday or something, put on a movie, listen to some music and sit and just play with different techniques. That way you can kind of like sharpen your skills and increase your confidence and you'll feel a little bit more comfortable wearing it out in person. But the overall takeaway from this should just be like, if you like it, it doesn't affect anyone. So if you want to wear your makeup, however you want to wear it, do you. Boo, okay? Again, you wash it off. I don't know why anyone would be concerned with what you do to your face. Okay? Can I double chin it anymore? So that was just a quickie. I've received some comments from people who are who clearly are feeling very like insecure about the criticisms. There's a hair on my chin. <gasps> it's somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, I hope it was helpful. <laughs> It's like really shitty. I understand. It's a it's a shitty feeling. Uh, and we are often our own worst critics. And then when someone makes a comment out loud that is negative towards like something that we're already n like feeling maybe a little bit insecure and not like 100% confident in, that just like destroys us, you know? Like it's just like such a confidence killer. I can still feel this freaking hair on my chin. Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to make this little short video is because I've also received some questions from people who are like, how do I start wearing makeup. Now I have a video planned for this. It's extensive. Uh, and I just want to see if anyone is interested in that because I know I have a lot of people who are new to makeup, but I also have a lot of people who like, they already know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like they want to see the creative tutorials cause they've already, they've been, they've been, they've been full facing. But yeah, if you're someone who is like finding my channel and you're new to it and you're like, I just am so confused. Like there's so many things going on here let me know because I got three categories of peeps. I got three categories and I'm breaking it down. It's gonna be an extensive video, but I think it'll be really informative for people who are like new to it and do just don't know where to begin. Um, <laughs> dying. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of like a gateway video, I guess, into that topic. Uh, let me know if this was helpful at all. And also please share your opinion or response to makeup critiques. Uh, let's start a little dialogue. Let's start a little dialogue because I wanna help people out here. I want people to feel like they can like share their experiences. There's no judgment here, all right? If you love a block brow, you rock that block brow, okay? 
I'm gonna support you. Because I only just today stopped overlining my lips and I still will overline them a little bit. Okay, we all make mistakes. <laughs> uh, and sometimes they're not even mistakes. I just have all these tiny little hairs and they're all like right, they're all right here and it's driving me so crazy, so I'm gonna go. But I hope that this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> below. The dry air is really starting to get to me. Let me know if you wanna see that video and also other things that you wanna see next. And I hope that you have a lovely day. I don't know what time this is going up, time or day that this is going up, but whatever day it is, I hope you have a lovely one. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm gonna go eat some soup. I gotta take this lip off first or that's gonna be a mess. <laughs>